Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and I'm gonna do one of my experiments. So you've probably seen, if you've been following my channel, that the worms tend to grow things. They tend to grow things like avocados and potatoes, if you've seen the potato video. If not, I will link up here so that you can see the potato video. And now I'm starting to think that these worms are better at growing things than I am. So why shouldn't I just put them to work doing multitasking? So I have some of these little pepper plants here that I got at Kroger for a dollar at the end of the year. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out of this little pot here and I'm gonna put them right in the worm bin. And then put the worm bin under the light so that maybe they can grow things better than me. I mean, they are kind of limping along here. I mean, it's February. But if I put them in here, maybe they'll do better than limp along. Maybe they'll be awesome. So I'm gonna put you down here. And so far my goal is to fluff everything up here and then plant these little pepper plants right here in the worm bin. Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm crazy. Um, or if you think this is a good idea and you'd like to get in on the whole thing. So I'm just gonna pull this right out of the pot. Seems like it's got some good roots in there. So I've got it out of the pot and what I'm gonna do is gonna separate these two. Let me find some place taller to hook you up to, maybe. Ah, I'm a woman. I can do anything. There. Right? Ah, maybe. Arr. All right. I'm trying to not disrupt the roots too much. But here is this little pepper plant. And I'm going to stir up the vermicompost slash not quite done compost. And I'm just going to put them right there and I'm going to put all of the stuff right around him. And same thing with this guy. I'm going to get rid of some of his dirt. That can become part of the worm bin. I'm going to fluff everything up. Make sure there's not a pocket of any particular food that I'm burying them in. And... There we go. So that's two of them. Uh, let's let's get see if there's one more I can put in here. I'm gonna have to make room someplace. All right, let's go for one of the big ones. I'm gonna try and put that one in there. So, gonna make myself a hole here and bury it in. <laughs> That's funny. So the worms are already living in with the pepper plant. So I just dumped the soil out into the bin. It can be become part of the, the harvested stuff. But yeah, I've already got quite a few worms already in there helping that pepper plant which is probably true of most of my plants. They probably mostly do have some worms in there. All right, try and get everybody their own space here. So yeah, I'm gonna give them a little bit of food because this looks like they're pretty done with whatever I gave them last time. So I'm gonna give them a handful of the apple goo, but it's gonna be all the way over in the edge here, away from the plants. So, there, they've got a little bit of food over there. And kind of tamp them out a little bit. course got my silly compostable bags that I'm refusing to give up on that's just me though 
I don't give up. All right. I probably will go through and spritz these with water a little bit, make sure the roots are in good contact with the soil. And then I'm gonna put them at the top of the bench up there near the lights. And then we can see if these two little pepper plants do better living in a worm bin than they did in their pot that I just took them out of. Well, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, hit the little bell button. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.